Howdy everybody, Bobby Brown, Guns and Drums. We're going to do another fairly unscientific book listics test today. We're also going to shoot some jugs and we're going to be using the G2 Research RIP 9mm round. We're going to use some of the horny, horny, horny bullets. Yeah, they're horny. We're going to use some Horny Day. American Gunner. These are the 124 grain XTP muzzle velocity 1110 feet per second. Okay, some of you have seen me use the book listics before. It's a great way to uh, check out expansion. And wow, that was kind of weird. But anyway, I'm going to use this same stack of bullets that I've used before. They're, they're they are clearly marked so that you'll be able to tell where the bullets hit and we'll mark them as we go. Alright, we're going to be conducting this test from about seven or eight yards. Boom. Here we go. Let's do this. First up, the regular old solid nose 9mm. No, I'm not going to do that one because I've done it so many times in book listics. You'll just have... I'll fix that. You'll just have to watch one of my other videos. But I am going to use the Hornady hollow point going up against the RIP. Super frag bullet, whatever you want to call it. Let's do this. I know you're dying to see what's going to happen. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Go already. Do it. All right, so we're going to be shooting these books with the XD subcompact using these two high dollar hollow point bullets. Let's see what happens. All right, here it is. First shot. I turned the books over on the side for more stability. It's no big deal. I'm going to hit it dead center anyway. Alright, right there she is. I didn't hit it too far off center. Obviously these are the, the, the previous tests. So we'll go ahead and mark this one and then we're going to get that super expansion RIP and see what she does. And we're going to look at the book and see what she did. Does did. You know what I'm saying. Okay, one more look. There's the horny hole right there, the hornity bullet. Let's go do this. RIP, baby. Pretty consistent shooting, I'd say. That XD is a good gun. Yep, right there she is, next to the horny. Let's go open this book up and see what happened. All right, so here we go with another highly scientific book listics. Let's have a look, see, see what happened here. Okay, let's turn it around. The way we hit it, I guess it was laying like that. Ah, oh, tape stronger in the brain. Okay, here we go. Wow, a lot different results than the last book listics. Remember, we did the talk, the nine miller and the three uh, nine millimeter and the three fifty seven. If you haven't seen that riveting video, please go check it out. But here we go, the Hornady and the RIP. it done cutting right through now heavy expansion much much more expansion than the other book listics test of course that little taco rev wasn't going to stop for anything but wow look at that it's getting bigger and bigger now she came through she hit this book really hard both loads did both loads hit really hard right there and it looks like they exited so boom here's your expansion buddy wow Unfortunately, the bullets hit so close together because I'm such a damn good shot. It's really hard to tell who's doing all the damage, but I have a feeling that that RIP is getting it done. Wow, maybe this is not so conclusive. We might have to do this again. And I might have to just not be such a good shot, but wow, look at this. She is just killing. Which one's doing all that damage? I'm pretty sure it's that RIP. The Unstoppable Book. 
Looks like it caught them. Let's see if they're in here, if there's any frags at all. I'm not really sure how that's, whoops, sorry, I almost knocked over the camera, how that's going to play out there. Uh, looks like they're just hit there, but I'm not finding any frags this time, like the last riveting test that we did. I guess they're completely disintegrated by now. I don't know. Oh! All right, so, well, there it is, about cut my finger off. Is that a slug? Wow, it is a slug. Now, which one is it? Wow, I'm going to say that that's the Hornady. I don't think that's the other one. I'm guessing that that's that one. Let's see what else we can find in here. I don't think that was the R.I.P. Oh, wow, what a freaking mess we got here. But it was fun. I'm sure we didn't determine anything. Hmm. Oh, well, let's just say they're really badass. I'm not sure that they're worth the money, but I think maybe if you went out and... I don't know what what, what, what do we pay for these things. They're out frightfully expensive. No, they're not going to tell us. Yeah, my son probably tore the price tag off so I wouldn't see it. He actually bought the thing, so... Pretty cool, I mean. I think I would keep some around. I'd like to cycle them through my gun to make sure that they work well. Of course, that one sure did. And um, we're going to go shoot some jugs now and see how that fares out. Very inconclusive, but wow. What a hole. The horny went in. The RIP went in. And they both exited and just kept right on getting it. Okay, let's go shoot some jugs. Alright, this is rather astonishing. I, I went to pick up the books and look what I found. Huh. And which one is this? I'm guessing that's, yeah. Wow. Well, now that's weird. Let me put down these books and re-examine this. Well, there it is, folks. You can see it for yourself. The super fragmentation bullet didn't frag. In fact, it just filled up with paper right there. Um, I'm astonished. Look, you can see for yourself, that's it. And here is the Hornaday. Sorry, I keep getting out of the frame there, but I'm just I'm just shocked. I thought this thing was just going to go all kinds of nuts. Now, it might have started tumbling, which created a nice big hole, but look how well intact it stayed together. And I really thought that thing would have just turned to a mushroom. This one certainly got the job done. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about this at all. I don't know. Maybe it's got to hit a harder surface or something. I'm just shocked that that bullet stayed together. I don't know. I'm thinking the horny bullet won in this case. I'd much rather want this kind of expansion than this. Wow. So... Maybe it was conclusive after all. Maybe these things really aren't worth it. I think I'll just stick with the regular hollow points from my personal defense carry. Because this didn't impress me. Okay, first up is the regular old 115 grain full metal jacket. We know it's not going to do a whole lot, but I got the impact camera set up just the same. Let's do this. Next up is the Hornady American Gunner. Okay, last but not least, the RIP. Let's bust this jug. Well, there they are. It's um, pretty plain to see that the full metal jacket went in hard, exited hard. The other two, well, it's hard to tell who the winner is. You can see for yourself. That's the horny. And that is the RIP. What a mess. Great. I love it. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Bobby Brown, Guns and Drums. Keep it pointing. Oh!